Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the 50 random facts about me tag. Um, I had already gotten up today and gotten ready and did my makeup and everything without filming, but I still wanted to sit down and film with you guys because it's been kind of rainy here in Pennsylvania. Like, I don't know if it's from the hurricane that's going through or what, but it's been like really dreary and today is like a beautiful day. So I was like, I want to sit down and film for them. So I just decided to do the 50 random facts about me tag. It was really hard for me to come up with these 50 random facts because I'm kind of boring. Like I'm just your average everyday girl. I sat down and I wrote down 50 things that I thought maybe you'd want to know about me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start you off with the fact about me that kind of inspired my channel and inspired the name behind my channel, um, Birthmark Beauty. As you may or may not have noticed, I have a birthmark smack dab right in my face right here. I have really grown to love my birthmark. I didn't always love it. People used to pick on me in school and call me mole face and things like that, but I've really grown to love my birthmark. And no, it is not a bruise under my eye. It's not makeup smudged below my eye. Those are my pet peeves when it comes to my birthmark. It's just a birthmark and that's all it will be ever, ever, ever. And for you people who like to call me out on it and say, hey, you have a bruise under your eye or hey, you have some mascara under your eye, maybe you should get some glasses because I don't know who thinks that that looks like a bruise or mascara. It's like a perfectly round dot under my eye, but hey, to each his own. I've learned to accept it and that's my first fact. Okay, another fact about me is that I'm a medical technologist. Um, a lot of people don't know what a medical technologist is, but I pretty much just work in a lab. I run tests. Sometimes I have to draw blood. I'm a night shifter. Go night shifters. If you're a night shifter, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you do and why you love night shifts. Um, my favorite fruit is a strawberry. And when I was younger, my grandparents used to call me strawberry girl, particularly my pap, like he would just call me strawberry girl. And they would like buy me all these things that had like strawberries on them. Strawberry ice cream, of course. That was one of my memories. He would always get butter pecan and I would always get strawberry. So my favorite color is orange. I love all things orange. Here's my orange blush right here. I just like keep all my orange things like my favorite kind of food is Mexican food. I could eat Mexican every day, even if it's talk about or if it's authentic. Like I love Mexican. I am the world's biggest scaredy cat. I am scared of everything. I'm scared of like the dark. I'm scared of shadows. I'm scared of, you know, if my dog's like looking past me, like over there and I'm like, what's back there? Like I'm instantly like turning around because I'm just scared. I'm just scared. Growing up, I grew up on a farm. Speaking of farms, my favorite animal is a cow. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have my little cow uh, bookends back here. This next fact, let me tell you, is so embarrassing, but so whenever I played softball, we would pack up and go for like a weekend. So we would all be like at the softball field from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. till it got dark, you know? So the moms would get together and be like, okay, we're gonna like make a picnic, you know, let's have some food for the girls. So they would set up like tents and we would all sit like around between games and eat lunch and like picnic-y type of foods. But one of the things that somebody made was like Oreo dirt cake. I don't know if you're familiar, but it's like Cool Whip with like crushed up Oreos and chocolate fudge. And it's just really delicious. It's like an Oreo dessert. And there was like none left. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna scrape the bowl and I'm gonna get what I can out. So I'm like scraping the bowl out and put some on my plate. And then I took my spoon and I took a bite and I, started chewing and I crunched into this like hard thing and I was like what was that and I like kind of felt it with my tongue and I was like that is like like creepy crawly like I could feel it so I'm like instantly like throwing it like spitting it out of my mouth and I like spit it in my hand there was a June beetle in my Oreo cake that I completely smushed with my teeth. And if you don't know what June beetles are, they are these little green flying specimens that fly around and they're hard as a brick and they always get in your pool and they're disgusting and hideous and they're like hard. Like they have that exoskeleton that's like really crunchy. I munched through that. I munched through a beetle. So I ate a bug, essentially. Went through up, but I ate a bug. Growing up, um, 
My family was obsessed with baseball, so of course I just fell right into that. Speaking of baseball, I grew up playing softball. It was my favorite sport. In high school, I was the high school salutatorian, which means I was number two in my class. I really worked my butt off to do well in school. Like I was so anal and obsessed about my grades in school. I have five siblings. They are, they mean the world to me. I love them so much. I have a brother and three sisters, two of which are twins. And I just, they are the world to me. Uh, this past August, I went out of the country for the first time. I went to the Bahamas, we went on a cruise, it was a lot of fun. I am obsessed with anything that says s'mores or marshmallow, like if it says that I will buy it, like candles, food, if it's like a s'mores like Oreo, like I'm gonna buy them, if it's a s'mores candle, I'm gonna buy it. I am just obsessed, I love it so much. <laughs> this next fact is really embarrassing but so funny at the same time, so we had an apartment a couple years ago and our cat got fleas. Well, the fleas, I didn't realize we had fleas until they were like infested in our carpet, which is so gross. Like, if you have an animal, please put flea protection on them. Like, we were young. We didn't know what, we were, what the heck we were doing. And so I we went to Petco and I was buying all the stuff and this lady at the counter was like, oh no, honey, you don't want all those chemicals. You need to just take moth balls and sprinkle them up all over your carpet and that's gonna like kill the mothballs. So I'm like, oh yeah, mothballs, they're so cheap. I'll just get some of those and sprinkle them around. Worst decision of my life. I crumpled, we crumpled up the mothballs all over, let it sit. My entire apartment <laughs> smelled like mothballs. All of my clothes smelled like mothballs. My furniture smelled like mothballs. My books smelled like mothballs. My kitchen utensils smelled like mothballs. My freezer food smelled and tasted like mothballs. I'm not kidding. Like everything in my apartment smelled like mothballs. So I didn't know this until I was at work one night and this guy walks past me and he's like, do you smell that? And I was like, no, what? And he's like, I keep getting whiffs of mothballs. And now like I work in a hospital. So like you get weird smells that come in. Like I get like urines and you know blood samples and things like that so you never know what you're gonna smell and I'm like oh no maybe it's just one of those samples you know little did I know it was me who smelled like mothballs my entire freaking scrubs everything smelled like mothballs so word to the wise or word of the wise do not use mothballs to get rid of fleas because your life will be hell in college, I gained 20 to 25 pounds just from eating really unhealthy, not exercising. I had done sports my whole life and then I didn't do sports in college, so I just gained weight really fast. But after college and starting work and just like really putting my health, um, making my health a priority, I lost 20 pounds since I've graduated from college, which I'm really proud of. One of my favorite things is Rice Krispies with Fruity Pebbles mixed in. Um, I got married to my high school sweetheart. My husband and I have been together for almost 10 years. Like we got together when I was 15 and he was 15, I think, yeah. I'm also obsessed with owls. I really love owls. I have a lot of like owl decorations also in my kitchen. So it's like cows and owls, which is really weird to think about, but it doesn't look too bad, at least in my opinion, because I love them. <laughs> I was born on April 22nd, which is Earth Day, and I guess you could say it's kind of rubbed off on me. I love to recycle. I am really earth conscious. When I was younger, I used to show my cows at the county fair. So I would get my cow all ready and like raise them up, and then I would take them and show them at the fair and get prizes and ribbons and whatever. I actually hate, I don't hate it. I just don't particularly like swimming. I like love buying bathing suits. Like I have a bathing suit obsession, but I really don't like swimming. Um, the two pets that I have currently are my cat Cinder and my dog Griffin. They are just, they're a joy, let me tell you. I really hate milk. Like, I hate white milk with a passion. I can't even smell it without gagging. Like, I cannot stand white milk. I also hate cheese. Now, let me explain myself before you guys, like, go off of me because so many of my friends and coworkers are like, how do you hate cheese? Like, oh my gosh, you're not American. 
but I don't like cold cheese. I don't like party cheese if it's chunked up in like little squares, you know. I cannot eat it, I can't smell it, it's revolting to me. I only like certain cheeses and they have to be prepared the right way. I am terrified of clowns. I have been terrified of clowns for a very long time. And now with like these clown sightings and like people dressing up as clowns, it really scares me that somebody's gonna like look through my window dressed as a clown. Speaking of clowns, I had a stuffed animal clown, like, I don't know, you'd have to see it, like it's not creepy looking, he's really cute actually. His name was Clowny, and the little baby one was like my favorite one when I was younger to like carry around with me, and funny story, I would like take him with me, and we were at the mall one time, my mom's like, you just like death gripped Clowny, like he was like your best friend, and we got home, and I didn't have Clowny, my mom was like, oh my gosh, like... Where is Clowney? So she calls them all. She calls all the stores we went to. Nobody could find Clowney. Well, then the next day, a lady called me back, or called my mom back, not me. I was like two or three. And she's like, I think we found your stuffed animal. Because my mom was like, like she bought me a replacement. She went out that day and bought me a replacement Clowney. Like the same thing, just a new one. And I knew that it wasn't mine. And I bit that sucker's nose right off. I still have that clown. It's, it's nose is hanging on by a thread because I bit his nose off because I knew he wasn't my clowny. So then my mom got the call the next day, went and got my other clowny and I was just so happy, like so, so happy. I am the world's biggest Harry Potter nerd. I love Harry Potter. Actually, I'm probably not the biggest Harry Potter nerd because there's a lot of people who get pretty intense about Harry Potter, but I love Harry Potter. I'm also obsessed with the Peanuts and Snoopy. I collect the Peanuts little figurines from Hallmark and I have them like all over my bookshelf and everywhere, so. I love collecting stuff. <laughs> okay, so my favorite flower is a sunflower and I absolutely love sunflowers. Like my favorite season is spring. I really love like the sense of renewal and like after it snows and it's cold and new flowers and new life and new baby animals running around and I don't know, I just really love spring. I like that sense of like new beginnings and new chances and I've never been much of a drinker. I don't really particularly like alcohol. I don't have like a favorite drink or anything. Actually, I do have a favorite drink, but I don't drink all the time. I have social anxiety. I really get tense and like anxious when I'm around a group of people or around like new people. So um, I'm really shy at first. YouTube has really helped me with that and I feel like I can connect with people without being like in a room full of people, which makes me really nervous. I went to St. Francis University. It's in a small town in Pennsylvania. It's a really small school. When I applied for school first, I originally was a nursing major. When I was in high school, I was our prom queen for the senior class. It's kind of shocking because I wasn't really one of the popular girls. I was just kind of like nice to everyone. And I guess people respected that. Like if you're nice to people, maybe it, will be rewarded. I used to be really obsessed with the Twilight series. Like I read the books three times each. So I said earlier that I loved Harry Potter, but if I had to pick one person of Harry Potter that I loved, it would be Emma Watson. And Harry Potter really sparked my love of her. She's just such an awesome human being in my eyes, in my opinion. I am a huge Disney fan. Like I am a child at heart. I go to the movies still to this day. Like me and my husband will be like, let's go for a date and uh, we'll go to see like a Disney movie. So. I, yeah, I'm just a little kid. I'll never grow up. <laughs> Another thing that makes me a child is that I still play Pokemon. I love the Pokemon games. I grew up with them. They were like a defining point in my childhood. And I know this might be so dorky of me, like don't judge me, but in my free time, whenever a new Pokemon game comes out, I love to play it. I don't know why, it just takes me back to my childhood. I just love it. Another game I really love and continue to play, actually I haven't played in a while, which I should, but I was obsessed with these when I was younger. Actually, even my friend, my friends got me into it and it's the Nancy Drew games. Um, I really like to bake. I, I like to cook too, but I would have to say I really like baking more. I don't do it all that often, but two of my favorite things to bake are pumpkin roll in the fall time, like my husband loves my pumpkin roll, and zucchini bread. My, one of my favorite foods is steak. As odd as it is because I love cows so much, one of my favorite food is steak. When I was in high school, I also ran cross country. Like, it's just one of the sports I did. I did it for one year and I really sucked. Like, I was not good at all. 
not good. I despise, with a passion, seafood. I cannot stand seafood. I really love like American Indian, like Native American type of culture and I really love like their style and like that like boho with like feathers and dream catchers and that's just like one of my favorite styles of clothing. I love nail polish. I have like a fetish for nail polish. I have a whole bin of it. My husband's like, don't you have that color already? Whenever I'm like buying new colors, I'm like, ah, no. So my last fact is that I bite my nails. If you haven't noticed in some of my videos, I always have like chip nail polish because I bite my nails. So guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this 50 random facts about me tag. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I just kind of wanted to sit down and do something a little different today because I just didn't have time to film a PD video. So please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.